Last month's flight was fantastic. The Apogee detector worked perfectly, and the rocket was recovered without any apparent damage. However, when the Apogee detector was removed and tested, a broken wire was found near the switch. The cause of the break seems to have been from the fiberglass tube that holds the steel bearings. I think this 3 8 inch hole was too close to the wires, and when the parachute came out, it moved just a little bit and it sheared one of them off. To fix this problem, I removed the top of the Apogee detector, removed the steel bearings, drilled out the old switch which was encased in epoxy, soldered some new leads to a new switch, put some heat shrink tubing on the switch to strengthen the hinge area, and reinstalled the top section to the Apogee detector. Here you can see I increased the size of the hole in the fiberglass tubing from 3 8 inch to 3 quarter inch. This and the reinforced wiring jacket should do the trick. So we're almost there and it's still dark out. Apparently it gets light later now or something. I guess I didn't get that memo. All right, so the sun is just barely coming up. The freaking moon is still up, but we're gonna go ahead and launch. First time today. All right, so the parachute came out. Something was a little bit off though. Something got tangled up or something. So we're on our way to go find it, find out what happened. It doesn't look too bad. Just wonder what happened with the parachute. Looks like it, it looks like it got tangled around the rocket. All right, so we got the rocket in the back and now we're just going to take it back and refuel it. Looks good. The parachute just kind of bunched up around it when it came out, kind of got twisted, but I'm glad it made it down in one piece. So this is the amazing thing about the piston. Even though, for some reason, the rope got stuck up, it's still... That gas inside, it's still sealed, it's still... It's still ready to go, so even though you can't use it again, it's amazing that it just... It's that strong. I love it, it's a great design. Perfect. I just wanted to check the Apogee detector to make sure it still works. Uh, put a new battery in it and then tested it by turning it over and turning it back over again. That simulates the engine cutting out and then the balls falling away at Apogee and it works perfect. So it doesn't appear to be any damage to it. I'm just going to go ahead and put another piston on, another um, uh, parachute cord and we're ready to go. So the piston is all hooked up. It's wired into the Apogee detector. Um, the parachute cord is attached to it and I'm just going to put on the top of the piston that pushes out the parachute. Feed the parachute cord through it. Now this is ready to install in the upper section of the rocket. So the nose cone uh, gets connected to the parachute lanyard and the um, parachute. And then, it... holy crap! There's a little girl here. <laughs> <laughs> you wearing your cute little hat today? Yep. Why don't you get a tissue? Yes. Back. I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, don't do it here. Do it <laughs> over there. Make a mess over there. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. There's a little guide hole there that this bolt on the engine goes into so that the engine's straight. And that just goes in like that. And then bolt this end up and we're ready to go. Because I'm awesome. No, no, you're not. 
I am the Atomness. Now this rocket has flown twice before, but it's never flown twice in the same day. So this will be the third flight for the rocket in total, but the second one in one day, and that will be a first ever. Let's check it out. And that, my friends, is the sweet taste of getting it done. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> All right, so we're on ready to get the rocket, and uh, hopefully it's 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 good to go, and we can come back next month with the same one. You know, it's so funny out here in the desert. You could be right on top of it and not even see it. My little helper here, she sees it, but I, seriously, I just still don't see it. You know where you're going? Yep. Okay. I have no idea. All right, so here it is. Came down fine, no problems. Looks good. What are you doing? Huh. All right, so there it is. Historic day. Twice up and down in the same day. Now the rocket's got a couple battle scars on it. It's got a little scratches from where the rope wrapped around it and things like that, but it's definitely flyable again. So that rocket, we've gone ahead and flown three times, twice today, twice in a row. First time, it's awesome. Really, really happy about that. Um, I was gonna fly it three times, I was gonna make another engine, but somebody came into town and bought up all the potassium nit nitrate from Atlas Chemical. Now, I don't wanna name names, because that would be rude, but his first name begins with Rick and ends with Machik. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to name any names. So there you go. <laughs> I'm just saying, didn't leave anything. Nothing for the rest of us. It's rude. Not a crumb. <laughs> oh, hey, um, in case you guys missed the work that I did for G4 for the rocket-powered go-kart, here it is. Check it out. Awesome. I'm telling you, man, there was like a quarter second of fear. Then it kicked in. I was like, oh no, this is never going to stop, is it? <laughs> and then I was just cruising at a good speed there, and then it let off. Now that's effing around. 